I had have been fine. The other day we were walking to school, me and the boy, and oh, bless him. Dad, look, there's a hoover being thrown out. And indeed, there was, without breaking pace and step, on the way back, I grabbed it. And, well, as you can see, we have ourselves a Vax Airlift Steerable Pet Max, which was thrown away for reasons currently unknown. It's just been sat in the corner of the room. I've been quite busy. Managed to delete all my files. If you follow me on Instagram, yeah, this is this is filmed just after I fixed that little problem. So, let's have a look, see how terrible it is, see if we can fix it up where it'll still be terrible, and work out if it was worth picking up or not. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and fax air chums. How are you today? Mr. Tayab will be wetting his pants with excitement because, yeah, a fax air. I mean, it's not the most exciting bin find I've ever had, truth be told. But, alas, bin finds are few and far between. But, I mean, there was a... There was a really modern Hoover wind tunnel that I did see once and did ignore. Probably should have ignored this as well, but I didn't. And here we are. It is a fancy vax because if I push down on this button here, look, it is the lift model and basically converts it into a handheld cordless canister. Very nice indeed, obviously. A design that I don't think they still do. Comment down below, or they probably just sell this exact model still, which is a typical Vax trait. But, yeah, um, it, it, okay, I think it sits on there like that. It is quite used, and you know, I haven't failed to notice that we might have to do some maintenance on it. But it, it is dry, it hasn't rained even when I picked it up, so it is fully dry. I say we plug it in and see how it works. It doesn't smell burnt. Do the sniff test, because if it's gone, you'll probably know. We should probably give the cable a good check, because uh, we've seen enough horrors on this channel, haven't we? And this is a pure tin find. It could be anything. But no, all that is at least safe enough to not kill us, or me. So, let's see what is on. Just done a fax. Really? Nothing physically wrong with it. It's all in its mind. And well, we'll start with down here because that was flapping around. Although I don't actually think they're broken, so that's good. Ooh. Oh, I mean, I don't think we're gonna treat it to a new set of filters, but we'll give it a vacuum off. I mean, whew, watch the cloud now. <laughs> my friend breathe so by process of elimination oh, oh. ah right okay this model hinges up from the front although this model is very very fancy and has a completely detachable top which it shouldn't yeah that shouldn't do that and the the bit of snap plastic there would confirm, yeah, it's, it's not a twisty one, it's a pulley one, and well, I guess you're coming out as well, yeah. Okay, it snapped. I mean, I'm gonna hope that it would, I mean, yeah, the plastic sits back in there. We're gonna try Q-Bond, I'm not gonna, not gonna beat about the bush, but is it worth trying Q-Bond? Well, yeah, that is deep inside the filter kind of filth. I mean, a vacuum off isn't really going to cut it too much. Now, I think, no, I think, yeah, this comes off. Again, it's just like the Vax Airs of old. So, I'm trying to picture Mum's old one 
in my head. And yeah, it's not terrible. It's just doing a fax. So how we fix doing a fax on this channel is with our Victor V9. Look at him. He is filthy. And he is about to get filthier. And I mean, it seems very practically nut and bolt restoring it at this stage. You know, you just say no, look. Now you're going to fly onto the camera. Yeah, because we're pretty much nut and bolt restoring this currently, we may as well get the old spray out and, yeah, just clean it up a little bit. Don't break anymore, because I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. Um, it works. I guess we'll start with that, and I'll probably toss the filter through the wash another day. But for now... It needs to stay here, boy, doesn't it? Yes. So that we can put this back together. So, I mean, we know it runs and drives and everything works and it just looks a ton better with all the dust taken off of it. I'm going to come on to the brush roll next because it spins, but it's filthy. I'll get all this together. I'll see you by the brush roll. Moving on and down with all of that lovely, and it's time to undo some screws. These three screws on the side of the head, to be precise, because yeah, we're just going to take the brush roller out. There is no point at all in trying to do anything less. Look, it's all starting to build up inside of here. This is how it starts, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing appears melted. That is a very good sign. Those of, well, the people that have done this before on a vax will know exactly the horrors that one can see. It's all looking all right at the minute. Then these two parts come out and ugh, the whole thing pulls through. And then, oh dear, then you turn it over and look at the other side. Although, whew, very lucky indeed. Look, that is perfectly intact back there. That Again, I've seen that wall completely smooth. I mean, we're going to have to pick a humongous wad of fur. Oh, no, wait, look, it did come off. So, yeah, it was starting. Yeah, I've seen all of that just worn smooth and gone. And, yeah, that is what builds up around your vac. You have to take the brush roll out of any rubbishy bagless vac because they just don't last otherwise. And that is what writes the head off. Luckily for us, we've got there just in time. All we need to do is to come and cut through the absolute mountain of thick hair and <laughs> carpet. I can now see carpet strands. Oh, my goodness, this knife is not sharp, which is probably a good thing for me. Yeah, oh, look, there's our brush roller. Oh, we found it. So I'm just going to carry on doing some archaeology. There is some catastrophic damage that well, has written this off. I've just found it. So, putting these bits around the brush roll, they aren't bad. I mean, that one's showing signs of what's to come. But, you know, it hasn't chewed through here. This brush roll 
just floats in mid-air. Take the belt back off. That's what maybe I had to check it. Put the belt on. This whole bit in there is worn completely out. There is nothing in there at all. And these are supposed to seat against there. And all they're really doing is just floating in thin air now. I mean, it's not going to stop us carrying on because by the time I put the end brace and this piece of housing in, it locks it solid anyway. And didn't, well, I didn't cut it off with the brush roll, so I know it didn't go up the Victor V9. It's, yeah, it has done a vax. Yay, we were right. And a short while later, we have what's actually turned out to be quite a tidy looking vax there. Sadly, yeah, there is now thin air between the end of the brush roll and in there. But equally, it'll still keep the suction in and the brush roll is still very much supported. I think it'll be fine. Bless us. I mean, we can take the hose off. It's got an all right hose, actually. I'm, I'm guessing it would have had an extension hose with it originally. But if I carry on... Oh, yes! Ow! Much better, indeed. That clicks into there. They've kept this hose, presumably because they didn't have to change anything here. This hose literally does nothing. It would have just been cheaper to keep all of that, I'd imagine, than redesign. Let me just back to it being basically a bog standard fax air, which isn't bad, I don't think. Yeah! I have said this before, but a fax air is not the worst bagless machine you can buy. It isn't going to last. Don't go spending a load of money on one thinking it's going to last. Because even if you strip that, I used to do mums twice a year and it still started wearing out. Just use them and abuse them. But, I mean, that is an amazing bit of pickup from just the rug. Holy moly, they are aggressive little things. Oh, it isn't bad, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's probably not going to be as great on the hard floor. Luckily, as per usual, Phoenix doth provide some lovely mess. So we'll turn it on and I'll turn the brush roll off. I like the scissors with the snow flare. It does it? Oh, no, I don't want to like it. I've got the other stickers to that music. Oh, no. Oh, I don't utterly hate it. I don't utterly hate it at all. I mean, we didn't play with the wand, although again, this is what they do. That isn't cocaine, that isn't, you know, this, this machine hasn't been used to clean up after a good time. That's that plastic wearing itself out and depositing nice Chinese fairy powder all over the place. But yeah, you could conceivably take the hose out, click it onto here and do okay. I yeah, mean, again, it's only meant for done. Well, I'll say done. Unclick. <laughs> and then pop this back in there. But you know, oh, that carpet performance is good. Are we going to keep it? No, absolutely not. It is trash. It is like fatally broken. But I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the filter through the washing machine and I'm going to glue up that rear thing so it hinges up again. Then I'm going to give it away to somebody locally who just needs an all right vacuum that's going to last them a little while to get them out of whatever hole they're in. And it can at least live on because, yeah, I have no love for it. It's as pretty decent performance as it is. Yeah, the, it, it's, it's still a Vax Air. I'm sorry. But what do you think? Do you like the Vax Air? I mean, I imagine the right home. It's a lovely machine. I, I, it's, it's too finicky for me. Fall over all the time. But it's not all about me. 
What about you? I think it's a 7 out of 10 for bin fine. Could be worse. No one notices how broken it is. And as long as I don't charge any money for it, I'll still sleep soundly at night. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I and some other abandoned facts. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.